Hi and welcome to this version of Mobile Tech Videos. Today we'll be bringing uh, the tutorial of how to uh, implement a new system application on your Android phone. This will be presented on a Samsung Captive AT&T model but it will apply with uh, pretty much any Android device. Um, today what we're going to be doing is migrating the gingerbread calculator onto a, a Froyo 2.3 uh, build and uh, to show you what we have to begin with we've got the Android 2.2 calculator here which uh, you know is a pretty nice calculator uh, but for developmental purposes and just to play and have fun we're gonna put the uh, gingerbread 2.3 uh, calculator on here uh, this this tutorial will just talk about basically any system APK you want to replace and by system application I mean root functionality of the phone that comes pre-ship with the ROM, so like calculator, MMS, camera, gallery, those are system applications. So what we need to do is first of all pick our APK of choice. We've already downloaded uh, all the gingerbread applications uh, from XDA developers. I'll give you a link to that site. So what we're going to do is take the calculator app, drag it to the desktop, you know, and this is just kind of a, you don't have to do it exactly this way, but it helps. And what we want to do is, since a lot of applications are named the same, we're going to call this calculator 23.abk for 2.3, which is gingerbread. So once we get that laid out, we can close this, and we want to plug in our phone. So now our phone's plugged in, and we want to pull down and mount USB storage. Say so connect. This will give us access to the internal card on our phone. So we'll open up uh, a My Computer Prompt or an Explorer, and we can see that there. And we'll drag the calculator application to the phone, and we'll close that. From here, we're done with the computer side of things. So we can turn off USB storage and go back to the phone. The way I'm presenting this is using Root Explorer. Uh, Root Explorer is a very, very intuitive application that allows you to do anything root to your phone, such as uh, replacing files, editing files. Uh, basically, it's the strong arm of file explorers that allows you to do way more than a lot of file explorers out there. It does cost a little change, but it's well worth it in my opinion. So go ahead and check it out. The link's in the more info section. So uh, once we have it, I'll show you what to do. Go into Applications. Uh, obviously, Root Explorer, you have to be rooted, so check out my video to do that if you need to do that. Uh, and within Root Explorer, the first thing we want to do is, uh, this is a gingerbread, so you wouldn't technically have to do this for other ones, but for gingerbread apps, we're going to go ahead and edit our um, build.prop file. So what we'll do is go ahead and Sorry about that, I'm not sure what happened. Force close. Anyways, uh, what we're going to do is edit the build.prop file. It's in system, build.prop. We're going to hold that down and we're going to open in a text editor. And it's probably going to be tough to see, but there's a line about one, two, three, four, five, six lines down. You'll see RO build version SDK equals, uh, depending on which um, Android you're on, Eclair would be seven, Froyo would be eight. Well, we're going to be using Gingerbread, so we're going to put a non. Now, this won't affect any of your other apps, but it needs to be done in order for this Gingerbread application to work correctly. So we've added that to a non. If you're using uh, anything else, like a seven or an eight, not in Gingerbread, you probably don't need to change this unless you are going to try to use uh, Froyo on an Eclair build, and then you would need to change the seven to an eight. Um, it is backwards compatible, so it shouldn't have a problem going backwards. So. And then we're going to press back, and it's going to ask if we want to save changes. Say yes. Okay, now that we've done that, we want to go to the app directory that houses all the system applications. From here, we're going to get the calculator app. That happens to be called TouchWiz Calculator instead of just Calculator. Uh, if you ever can't find anything, you can always hit the Settings button at the bottom and say Search. It's really good. It'll find it for you. So TouchWiz Calculator APK. Hold it, say move, and then all the way back to the top, go back a directory, back another one, go down to the SD card, and paste it. 
This is so we can revert the changes if we have a problem. Uh, one rule of thumb is unless you really are just a developer or you're really trying to do this stuff and have no idea whether it works or not, you will risk running into like a constant force close and you may have to reflash your ROM. So I wouldn't do this unless it's been confirmed on the forums or wherever you got the APK that the file does work on the architecture you're going to run it on. So if it does, then go, you know, continue to do this. So now we'll grab our calculator 23.apk, select move, and what we're going to do is put it in the exact same directory. So we'll go back one, then we'll go to system, app, and we're going to paste this. So now we'll press the home button and you need to reboot the phone. So power off. I'm going to let that power down. The phone actually reboots pretty quick when it's as stock as this one is. The common uh, you know, misinterpretation of system APKs is that they need to be installed. They really don't. Uh, system apps that are in the app folder are actually basically ran at boot. Uh, some APKs don't even need to be rebooted like the step we just did, but it is recommended because some do. Sometimes you can actually just drop the APK in, go back to your applications, and bam, there it is. But it doesn't always happen for every device. So that's the reason that we're recommending the reboot step. Okay, so the phone's almost back up here. Of course, we gotta we gotta run our preparing mass storage and all that. So we'll unlock. It's still gonna boot a few things up. Some of the widgets. We're gonna wait on the applications list to to build. Probably a few more seconds. We'll click the applications. We'll wait for it to build the list. And bam, we've got the new calculator application right there. And we can click it, and it looks way different. It's the gingerbread calculator. You know, it's just a calculator, but it's an easy application to, to use for this demo. And uh, that's it. That's how you insert a new system application onto your Android phone using Root Explorer. Um, as always, good luck. I appreciate you for stopping by. Please check out some of my other videos if you have time. Uh, leave post your comments in the section below and um, as always good luck